when these other hominin species are mentioned, such as Neanderthals, many Christians already feel alarmed by that. Could you just, maybe we can broach this by saying, why should Christians be open to listening to the scientific claims here? This is a funny issue, Gavin, because some young Earth creationists believe in the full and true humanity of Neanderthals. They have no trouble with it at all, whereas other Christians hear it, and they immediately think you're arguing for common descent from the apes or something of that sort. And I think that what we can help people to understand is that Neanderthals were just as fully human as we are. Uh, uh, they had the same sort of cognitive capacities and even larger brain size than Homo sapiens. In fact, over the last 10,000 years, the brain size of Homo sapiens has actually been shrinking. So Neanderthals were just as intelligent and they exhibited the same sort of cognitive behaviors that ancient Homo sapiens did. And so they were people. Um, they were our cousins. Uh, they just were a little bit different than us in that they had heavy brow ridges. They were stouter, uh, kind of stockier. Um, they had large noses. Some of these characteristics may have been derived characteristics because they lived during Ice Age climates. Uh, in really harsh, cold uh, climates where they had to eke out a living. And I think it's just almost immoral for us to write these people out of the human race and, and dehumanize them when really they were like us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you draw attention to a lot of the evidence in favor of that in terms of cave paintings, for example. Could you talk about some of the some of that evidence that you think indicates these various hominin species were fully made in God's image. What paleoanthropologists have identified are a number of what they call archeological signatures of modern cognitive behavior. Things that would indicate sub, uh, symbolic, abstract thinking, uh, planning for the future, uh, technological innovations. And you discover that these archaeological signatures go hundreds of thousands of years back into the past. And, and they are being driven ever further into the past by ongoing ar archaeological discoveries. For example, just last year in 2020, a piece of twine was discovered by archaeologists. This twine had been made from the fibers of a gypsum tree where they, they took the inner bark from the tree and then they twisted the filaments clockwise and then they twisted other filaments counterclockwise to make a three-ply cord of string. Uh, and the archaeologist who, who uh, identified this said this was before Homo sapiens came on the scenes. Only Neanderthals were around at that time. And they said the ability to manufacture cordage like this is indicative of mathematical reasoning that would be comparable to language ability. When I read this, my breath was just taken away. Uh, we're talking about here people that had mathematical reasoning capacity and, and linguistic capacities. And I think we dare not dehumanize them and say that these are not real people. Mm -hmm. What about practices like burying the dead? Does, does that come in at all in terms of these this timeline? Well, this is also one of the most interesting because it could, it could indicate some kind of religious beliefs. Uh, Neanderthals in particular seem to be prone to bury their dead, not to just do house cleaning in the cave, so to speak, and throw the carcass outside or dump it into a pit. Rather, the, 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 the body was carefully buried and sometimes it was interred with certain goods, uh, certain artifacts that archeologists have discovered. Minimally, this shows that they valued the bodies of the deceased and cared for them and didn't treat them just like garbage. 
And it, it may have even been indicative of some sort of religious belief, perhaps an immortality. We, we just don't know. There's so much we don't know, but it's certainly consistent with that. And so that is another one of these uh, factors that archaeologists look for is proper burial of the, the dead. 